Hello, my name's Andy and I'm a gambling addict, last bet, 14th of April 2007. Hi guys and girls, I hope you're all keeping well this week and I uh, hope you've been doing well throughout the week. Um, I've been on nights again, sleeping has been absolutely everywhere so I've been struggling a bit with my sleep, been sleeping probably a bit too much. Uh, ever, obviously I'm long in the tooth of my recovery at the moment so I'm over 12 years clean. No thoughts of gambling or anything like that, no weird dreams or anything at all. I've been feeling quite good and uh, quite chilled out with it all really, so happy as I can be. I've got five days until I break up for two weeks from work, so I'm looking forward to the time off. Uh, Again, get back into my fitness tomorrow because I've not really done any running for the last week or so, so I've had quite a lot of rubbish as well. Uh, my wife, mine and Becky's uh, 14th wedding anniversary it was on Tuesday, so it was nice to get through all that. Hi the Birdman, hope you're doing well. Um, not sure I've seen your name before on here. Um, so me and Beck uh, had a nice Saturday evening last night. Uh, just went out for a bit of food, a few cocktails and a few drinks. Nice to just get out. We don't get out very often between just us two, so good. Oh, no worries Birdman. If you've got anything to say, feel free. Uh, it's anonymous as well. That's all great as well. Hi Beth, yeah, had a cracking uh, anniversary, it's been really good, 14 years, <laughs> done really well. She should have been me off years ago, Becky, but she supported me through thick and thin, through what I've done and everything like that, and I can't thank her enough for being there for me. She'll never totally understand what addiction is. It's hard for anyone who's probably on here watching today, who uh, is not getting the actual who probably are looking for answers and stuff, so to speak. The only person who probably really understand it is a fellow addict, so to speak. We can have experts and everything, so far, fair enough, and there's lots of people out there who will try and help and try and understand and stuff and all that. But it's hard. But my wife probably understands my, mood, my moods and stuff, especially when I was like first off for the first six months or so. She understood if I felt a bit low, urge and everything. Just tell someone how you feel. Just open up, be wise with it all, and just keep opening up. Great stuff. Well, you stopped for four months now, Birdman. That is a fantastic achievement, mate. Yeah, food was really nice as well, Beth. Really good. Um, but yeah, because of Becky, I am where I am today. She just stuck by me through thick and thin. She knew, she had to. She, she was part of my recovery. She had to recover in a way as well because. She was, she's married to me and and it was hard for her as well. She had tears, she had anger in her as well. And I see you know, she's usually quite a placid lady but she could get angry about it or when a bit, bit upset and stuff and all that a lot as well. But it's fair game because end of the day I put her through all that when I came out clean over twelve years ago now. And it absolutely binned her off. I remember hearing floods of tears and stuff and all like that. I mean, you you look back a few months ago when I did that vlog. It was the first time she's ever spoke spoke about it pub, really publicly, um, and she was in bits, just reliving the nightmare for her really and stuff and all like that. We don't usually tend to go back a lot, if you know what I mean. And it's hard, but they got there. She got there. She explained it all again, and I wanted to give people a perspective from their, her point of view and how she felt, etc. as well. As you say, Beth, yeah, our partners probably never really understand what we've done and how we've been and what we, how we lie and just misguide and we're not, we're not very good like that at all. And there is like a pockets of help there for people who are affected by others who, uh, other people's gambling. Obviously, there is Gammon on throughout the UK, which, which uh, run parallel to a GA meeting, but they are few and far between. It's a bit of a postcode kind of thing, so to speak. Um, I like to see probably more people actually more more things going off with regards like helping partners, helping family a bit more, and all that. Like, especially uh, if you've been bereaved as well and so. Um, it's the why, you know. Why do you do? As you say, Beth, I I don't even know why I did it. I mean, there's some people who have got ideas and stuff, if you know what I mean. Hi, uh, Darren, hope you're doing well, buddy. Uh, yeah, all good. But I'm, that's the biggest question for most things, isn't it, with regards to addiction? Why? 
and uh, there's many multiple answers nothing ever definitive for me um, it is what it is I, I did it because I had a lot of time on my hands I enjoyed gambling instead of uh, patting it down and letting it keep keep at it I let it grow into a monster and let it control me unfortunately and hour by hour day by day I was getting worse and hot worse person getting into more debt taking out credit cards left right and uh, centre it was the time that was a killer I always say that the money is relative to the person's situation if you're gonna gamble if somebody wants to gamble they're gonna gamble end of the day we could, it's all about making it as hard as possible to, to gamble, get layers of protection. Everyone's saying like self-exclusion doesn't work or something doesn't work or the meetings don't work. You make it work if you want to make it work at the end of the day. It has to come from us. Yes, industry can do more and treatments could be much more and more funding involved and stuff and all that. Lot. But we've got to accept it. We've got to accept that with what we've done is awful to our families, to our friends, to whoever, whoever you love, you love and whoever you care about and stuff and all that. Look, we've got to get there. Hi JL, hope you're doing well buddy. Hi Mark, how are we doing mate? That's great bird man, and like I say for GA for me on a personal level, it, everyone understands who you, what you're going through because they've been in your shoes. Uh, I get it's not everybody's cup of tea best thing they do, say is give it 90 days <coughs> if you give it them 90 days and you're still going you're doing really well and I know there's people who go for life and that's fine everyone recovers in different ways I mean I'm hopefully getting to a meeting this week if I can um, barring any kids sports or anything like that I think tomorrow might be good to actually get to a meeting so hopefully I can get there um, we'll see but I enjoy being around people, and I made I made a lot of friends through the through, through the years through the GA meets and stuff and like that. Seeing faces I haven't seen for a long time, and it's great to like be around people. I mean, one of my mentors, one of the guy inspirations, is a uh, is a guy. He's he, he lives down south now. He lives in uh, Cornwall, I believe, or something like that. And uh, he used to love listening to his stories of addiction because he wasn't just addicted to gambling; he was addicted to drugs as well, and and alcohol as well and he's just an amazing guy and what he, where he come from to where he is now he's unbelievable got a job got a lovely family kid lives by the seaside if you know what I mean hi Marky Mark hope you're doing well um, so please feel free to share what experience you've had you know those early days of recovery and stuff so feel free to like spark up in the live chat talk about what you're going through talk about how life is for you currently um, where you are, where where you was at the start to where you are now. Hi Stephen, hope you're doing well. Uh, the bird watching is going fine. Hope he's giving you peace of mind. Um, it's basically, we've got a guy called the Birdman on as well, so he might be another bird watcher as well. Um, but uh, yeah, what do you do, especially in them early days? What what kind of uh, things did you do to try and make you stop and stuff and all that? Like, Hi Secret Police, nice to interact with you uh, yesterday on the, one of the last previous videos. I um, hope you've like, uh, enjoyed watching the videos and uh, hopefully you can get involved a bit on the live chat and talk to the other people on here live. Uh, it's, like, it's like a group of support and a group of like, groups to try and help each other. So feel free to share what you do to try and stay away from gambling. And I think another good question to pose everybody as well is to... Uh, when you get an urge, what do you do? What's the first default thing you do to when you have an urge? And if you have gambled, you've done it, fair enough. But if you like try and stay away, what what do you do to like try and pass that urge over, pass that time? Feel free to discuss it, and uh, I like to have a bit of Q and A as well. To be honest, there's quite a few on early on tonight on the on here. Fifteen of you are already on here, so that's quite good. That's what about the average? I'd say I go to a GA meeting, so plenty of discussion. It'd be great to see what your thoughts are and everything like that. Hi JW, I hope you're doing well. But yeah, it's good good to see so many people on the on the live chat again. It's fantastic. Um, if there's any operators out there, feel free if you want to talk on the live chat. Feel free. I, I totally get it because it is about gambling addiction. 
and uh, if you do work in the industry I, I, I totally get it um, if you didn't want to talk on here but feel free to talk to me privately as well on baronmad79 on Twitter or through my LinkedIn or through my messenger service on Facebook um, hi JW the temptation's real what blocks have you got in place JW have you got any blocks to like not to uh, make sure you gamble and stuff make it as hard as possible Okay, Yali, uh, you had a bad dream the other day, after you dreamt I walked into the and withdraw my money and put it. Day 65, brilliant, Beth, but it's good to open up and talk about that. And it's better for it to be a dream than to be something in reality. The dreams happen a lot. I, mean, I still get the odd one now and again. Don't get me wrong, and it is bizarre as well, because you wake up thinking you're going to gamble, if you know what I mean. That's fantastic, Mark. Good idea, look. No access to cash. Ask mates looking after your card and stuff and all like that. Um, if you, JW, if you're thinking you are a problem, do you, do you feel like a gambling addict? If you do, then for me, I've seen lots of people thinking, yeah, I used to do the roulette or they used to do sports betting, but I should be all right and everything else. More often than not, it spells out of control again. I can give you an instance where I was playing poker all the time and stuff like that, but I love my horses as well. And I'd only have like a couple of quid on the horses, if you know what I mean. But that soon spiraled out of control, thinking I can control the horses. For me, if you feel like you've got a problem gambling, it would be everything. But it's not for me to judge or not for me to decide. It's down to yourself, obviously. Uh, day one, exactly secret police, one day at a time. Uh, Monzo, brilliant Stephen, yep, keep yourself busy, take stock of things when an urge comes up, make a couple, wash your hair, as that you say. Wait, wait, I'll get the urge, I'll just leave the phone and go for a walk. That's fantastic, Richard, like you say. Uh, brilliant, yeah, some good, uh, good uh, advice on here as well, like you say, Richard, you just go for a walk. I think when I had my early days, I went for a run and just kept myself out of the way, keep myself busy. It's all about not doing the first thing that comes inside of your head. Best thing to do is breathe, think about it and do the second thing because more often than not that will be the one that leads you away. Like you say JW, if you feel like you have a problem with gambling it might be everything. I know a lot of people who struggle with the sports betting as well and uh, they thought they couldn't give up the football and stuff and all that lot. But over time they started to enjoy it for the sport that it was and stuff and all that lot. You look at the cricket last Sunday, maybe not everybody's cup of tea but I knew people who used to bet like on like the per ball and uh, per over and things and all that lot. And now they could enjoy the sport for uh, uh As well. So it is what it is. But it's how you feel, JW, at the end of the day. I'm not telling you not to gamble. I'm not telling you to gamble. It's down to you, mate. Exactly the same, Mark. The same that I found buzz from winning. I thought it wasn't enough. You end up going back and back and back, ain't you, Mark? For me, that's how I probably felt as well with my gambling. Hi, Darren. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Nice to see you. As Richard says as well, thing with gambling that win, never be you'll always want more and you'd best to stay away. As I say, trying to put as many layers of protection as you can. I, I remember sitting in J and thinking, people saying, I think I might be all right with a couple of quid, you know. For me, it's never gonna be enough. Yeah, Monzo is a good account. It uh, helps block gambling transactions. And if you, and thing is as well, if you ever phone up, because what we'll do as well with Monzo, when you try and request to have gambling transactions back on, you have to call them up and there'll be somebody to talk to at the end of the line. And it would be like a bit of breathing space, a bit of a cooling off period with it as well, so they are good. Hey, I thought it was clever. I never did stuff. I need to tell you I always went at the start. Right? As you say, secret police, a gamble is a gamble at the end of the day. For me, JW, over time, yeah, it went away. It went away. After the first year, 18 months, it started to go away. Don't get me wrong, I had the dreams and stuff and all that lot. Those first year or so, I was desperate to gamble at some points. You know, I remember, used to remember big meets and stuff for horse racing. Now, I could only, the only day I could probably tell you, tell you in the racing calendar is the Grand National Day. 
Grand National meeting. I used to watch her horse racing as a spectator sport as well over time, and I used to enjoy it. But even that fell off and stuff, and I'm like, like I don't, I don't know anything now, barely at all. And it does go away. It does. But obviously, everyone's got different situations. Some people it might never go away. But for me, I got away from it all, and it got better. Hi, Richard. Yeah, uh, rock and roller. Uh, I do know him. Uh, I've spoken to him as well a few times and stuff like that. No, I don't watch the streams per se. Um, I have uh, briefly, a couple of times, just clicked on and said I'm here if anyone wants to chat and stuff and all that like, on his live stream and come off again. But I, but uh, Rock and Roller did do a, an initial uh, gambling vlog, addiction vlog. He talked about it and he kind of linked my vlog to his and stuff and all that lot. Like. So he's quite good. And I do believe on like the website he ha he runs and helps on the forum. He has, which I've like commented on a few times. He has got a responsible gambling bit where we talk about gambling addiction and stuff as well. Um, but I, for me, I don't think I'd be any good at the start talking to like that. I understand people's people have meth use it as a methadone to watch the streams like rock and roll and stop and step etc. Um, I have met stop and step briefly as well. Uh, you think you can beat any? I just can't mind if, but I'll spit that. Yeah, exactly, JW. Uh, you think you want to buy nice clothes and stuff and all that, like, and but we just you can't justify buying nice clothes. But I'll spend thousands. Yeah, same boat, pal. Same boat, mate. Exactly the same thing. For for you, JW, it's each to their own. For my recovery, and if I was at the start, and if I know the streams are around. I won't watch them per se, but I understand people do, and people use it as a means of a way to stop away, stay away from a bet. I'm not advocating it in any way, but if people are going to do it, people will do it. Hi Steve, hope you're doing well buddy. Uh, yeah, Chesterfield tomorrow, because I might be able to pop up, I'm not 100% sure yet mate. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. As I say, Rocker is a is a decent he is a decent fella. We've got to understand millions of people gamble for fun within the means and use it, and actually, we're actually absolutely fine with gambling. You got we've got to remember this, and we are in the minority, so to speak. Yeah, JW, the money's relative at the end of the day. We can get by, and it sounds daft, but a lot of it you say, it might say it sounds weird, but if you go to a GA meeting, a lot of people will probably come out with that comment. As Stephen says, if you if you are doing it, you're doing it. I'm not going to condone or I'm never going to be for or against it. Just I'm looking about my recovery. I wouldn't do it per se, but it's up to you anyway, guys. Exactly say, gambling. I say, say, does. Uh, but you best to stop them. It's how you feel. It's your recovery at the end of the day. This is quite a good discussion about uh, streamers and stuff like that because I'm like a streamer myself, but uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. One thing I'll never do is try and tell you what to do. I used to I used to be quiet to uh, do that a lot, especially in starting my vlogs and telling people what to do when people message me and stuff, you know what I mean? If you know, if you know what I mean. How are you doing, mate? Hi, Wigan Latte. You're always looking... Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I, I really appreciate the really nice comments and stuff as well. Because I do doubt myself at times, and it is sad. And I get up. I have been upset in the past and stuff and all that. Like, because I did have a few trolls after me and had a bad time on Twitter with it with certain individuals as well. But I just, it is what it is when you put yourself out there. I enjoy doing these vlogs. They help me as much as just as much as to help you. It helps me to listen to people who probably had their slip. I know it sounds selfish and stuff, but it helps me to know, stay away and know how they're feeling because I know how I felt when I had those slips and stuff right at the start. And it kind of remembers, do I want to be in that position again, so to speak. So I've got to be selfish in my own recovery, so to speak. I was chopping it, but cut that out. I was never going out. much prefer to be in contact with those that want to stop. Precisely, Mark, and I think that is, for me, my recovery, that's the best thing. Be around other people who understand what you're going through and uh, what what you're trying to do and stuff and all that. Like. And I think that's the greatest kind of thing, so to speak. 
hope uh, no one can hear all this music is the Caribbean Carnival going off about a couple of miles down the road and it's quite loud. Uh, <laughs> Hi Centipede, hope you're doing well. Nice to see you on here again matey. It's, uh, it's been good con talk about the streamers and stuff, you know what I mean. Hi JW, I'm from uh, Derby. I live in, uh, live in Derby. I'm not far from Pride Park Stadium. I live about a 10 minute walk from there. Yeah, so yeah, I've, I'm I'm in good spirits. So thank you for asking, guys. I really appreciate that, and I'm I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. Happy with my life. Got a decent job at the end of the day. Um, I, I love to do more work with education and gambling and stuff and all that lot. And I don't know, maybe one day I might do a counselling course and stuff and all that lot as well, just to test the waters and stuff and all that. It's something I want to do. It's not something I have to do, so to speak. Uh, Beth, like you say, it's your recovery. It might be the best thing to do is unsubscribe and just block it all off and stuff. If you know what I mean. Uh, JW, I work. Uh, I work work in logistics. I work uh, in admin, but not kind of like sitting in front of a computer kind of admin. I'm a bit like a stock controller. Um, <laughs> I like that, Steve. I like that, Steve. Uh, you don't do much work there, uh, to be honest, mate. I won't reveal where you work, but you're probably a bit of an in-joke, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Marky Mark, where are we looking, mate? Uh, 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 sorry if I'm missing a lot of people. Nice to see. <laughs> no worries, Mark. Mate, I was at work on nights when I had a ticket to go to the second playoff flag. And my sister went and said it was one of the best away days she's ever had. She got home at quarter three in the morning. So, all fun and games, mate. All love and war, mate. <laughs> Hope you're not spying on the vlog, if people understand that one. Uh, as you say, I mean, yeah, yeah, shame about the final, I know. Uh, Richard Adams, I've kind of heard of them other two uh, streamers as well. Um, as you say, we're rock and roll. He does seem he is a does seem very genuine, and he's very honest with his wins and losses as well. So I've heard. So Newcastle fan here. Oh, I don't know about your season next season, boys. <laughs> How do you fans take it when you said you were giving up? Not in mind, mind, believe me. I say that. I heard it all for hate letting people down. For me, I got kind of caught out, and I had to stop really. And it took weeks and months for them to trust me again because that's the biggest thing you lose is your trust in you and it kind of like it was hard for them to like trust me so i had to get receipts for everything i had to show where my money was and what i was doing with what i'm paying out and things and all that lot and it took a long time and just by being honest it, it does over time get better it makes you honest it makes you honest if uh, it take time, JW, don't get me wrong, it's hard and you feel that initial relief and euphoria when you're telling you're going to stop. It's hard, I get it, but you can get there, you can fight it. Day at a time, mate, it takes a day at a time. <laughs> Richard, nice one, mate. Hi, Robbie Catman TV. Yeah, uh, if you could probably find me easier at Twitter on Baron Mad at baromad79 uh, probably best to get me there then I can give you my email address on there I don't like to give it all out like publicly and stuff because uh, I've just got to be careful really if you know what I mean uh, I do get quite a bit of spam now and again as well so apologies I probably tr I do trust you I just want to make sure I'm r uh, it's all okay uh, let me just get all this up I think we could blame our friends when we say those things because I had let them know as you say centipede uh, Mr. Robbie Catman. Okay then, mate. Uh, at Baromad79, I'll come and try and find you as well after the stream. I'll quite happily talk to you as well, buddy. Uh, as you say, secret police, if you could, once you start, you can't start. Once you start, you can't stop kind of thing. I, I get it, and a lot of people who struggle with gambling get that as well. And it's hard. It's difficult, don't get me wrong. And the hardest thing, like I say, I talk about GA a lot and uh, everyone talks about that first meeting feeling like oh does anybody know me there and stuff and all that lot. The hardest thing to do is go back for that second meeting because GA hasn't got a really great retention rate 
uh, for it. It's a fantastic thing, but it's only like one in ten come back after the first meeting. And it's always about the what ifs and where people have gone and stuff and all that lot. You've got to be comfortable in your recovery and stuff and all that lot. And all I can say for GA is everyone will understand what you're going through there. Um, it might be scary because it is a massive thing you, you're doing. Because you've let gambling rule your life for so long. But you get through it, if you know what I mean. You do, honestly. You do the channel, I see you have lots of it. Anything worth looking through. Uh, the first about 20 or 25 videos are all uh, pre records so I'm just like documenting my life. Um, then there's quite a lot of live videos as well. I just go back to the start, have a look, have a look at the story and stuff and all that lot, JW. As you say, Yarly Beth, we're compulsive. 57 months gamble free. Exactly, Steve. Brilliant, mate. Congrats on the achievement. That's fantastic. And it's been a pleasure knowing you, obviously. Uh, I've met you num numerous times. It's great to see you as well, mate. I've been nice to catch up with you again too. Um, uh, Mark, no, yeah, I'm still paying debts off. I recently just had another letter through saying I've paid another debt off, so I'm down to the last two debts. Um, but no, I've got no stresses with it because I know what I can afford and I've got it budgeted and uh, my finances are strong and I'm comfortable how I live and stuff now, if you know what I mean. Even though I didn't gamble for three weeks and get itchy feet about a football season. As you say, there's certain triggers and certain elements about it and it's good you've piped up Centipede to talk about it as well. What I would probably say is probably talk, for me, talking to someone close how you feel as well, especially when that football season kicks up again, is how you want to deal with it and how you want to deal with that time and stuff, if you know what I mean. No problem, Robbie. That's fine, mate. I'll get back to you as soon as I finish the vlog. Uh, I have everything in place. I find a DM. Well done, Steve. Well done, yeah. Brilliant. And we find a betting on stuff they didn't even know about once. Yeah, uh, I remember, what was I doing? I did I did uh, American football and stuff and all that. Like, it was bizarre. You just end up gambling on absolutely anything. Cartoon racing was a bit of a particularly weird one for me. I used to always have like a five or a ten of each way on anything that was like seven to two, nine to two, eleven to two or thirteen to two. Because I thought in my silly head they're the ones that were going to win all the time. That's uh, some bizarre kind of system. I didn't understand the cartoon racing at all. <laughs> Uh, Portland Park and places like that, if I can remember rightly. Uh, Richard, no, I, I'm happy. This is quite free. This is. I'll never ever monetize my vlogs ever. Uh, they're completely free, and uh, I'm happy for people to watch them back, even to use them as an education tool. I have done ad hoc work for like gambling education for people in the past, and I've made money through that. So I'm not quite. I'm quite happy to have this completely free and. Uh, free of use completely yes dear, there's not as much time that you'll just bet on anything that moves just anything that's on at the time I used to get on hamster races yeah steeple downs that was another one I remember I was been to Olympic swimming years ago before fobs yeah we're, 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 what's some of the daft things gambled on you can gamble on absolutely anything and stuff and all that like, I used to what else was it I used to play like blackjack on the side uh, when I was playing poker as well, doing that, £100 a cut hand. And I, I didn't really understand it, even though it's quite a simple game. Didn't know when split and stuff and all that lot. And it was just balmy. I was just playing all sorts of silly, ridiculous games. Yeah, Gamba's fallacy is a crazy thing. Quite right, Darren. Quite right, matey. Um, uh, it's a shame uh, Katie's not here today because she's just gone over a year without a bet and uh, she's got quite a nice channel as well and obviously uh, gambling sucks as well da and uh, also uh, John O'Reilly and his Joel as well and uh, one or two others Jordan's diary as well is good uh, what I will say I just wanted to come up and I will post a link to the vlog after as well um, unfortunately I read a quite a nasty story yesterday I think it was in a Cornwall newspaper it was on my Twitter feed uh, a guy this is why I tell Cook about sparking up, talking about your problems and stuff. Um, he had masses of gambling problems and stuff and all that. Like, not monetary too badly, but he just let gambling take over his life. He had a wife and a couple of kids and unfortunately he took himself onto the woods one, one weekend and just killed himself. And just because of the gambling and 
it's so sad. Uh, if anyone could post a link up on here, that'd be great. I have donated because they are doing some sort of like a walk or something in his memory uh, to raise uh, addiction awareness and mental health awareness. I can't quite remember his name now off the top of my head, but what I will do after I've uploaded this, uh, updated the, I think his name's Jow, his name is Jowen or Jowen or something like that. I can't remember. Apologies if I got it wrong, if anyone of the family's watching. But uh, what I would urge to do is take a look at the campaign they're setting up. Not Well, not a campaign, but just trying to raise money for f funds as well, for like charity and for the family as well. So what I will do is post that up and uh, hopefully a few donations might come in or just a few shares of the story as well because it needs to be out there and this is where it could take your gambling addiction to suicide and it's awful and I know it's awful um, obviously there's, there's, there's people set up uh, and it's obviously gamble with lives who were set up after memory of the loot of the lot they lost their son Liz and Charles uh, Ritchie um, I don't agree totally with everything to do uh, with regards like the gambling industry and stuff and all that lot but I commend them for like speaking out bravely and uh, getting other people's parents involved and stuff and who have lost other parents who lost their sons and daughters through gambling as well. Um, no problem, Yolly. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was in Cornwall. It was a Cornwall, your local Cornwall newspaper from yesterday, Centipede. Uh, yeah, exactly. The important to talk to people. Yeah, I will do post that. I'll probably post the link up on the vlog after I'll put it in the actual like comments bit. I will. Uh, that's not a problem, Beth. As, like I say, just get the awareness out. It's good to talk. So if you're feeling suicidal, feel down, feel awful, all I can say is, I know how you felt. I've been in that situation. Many of us here have felt really rock bottom, low and nowhere else out to go, but there, you can get out of it. Phone up your gambling helpline, get onto GamCare, get to those GA meetings, other Beacon, Beacon Liverpool, break even as well, other various areas of support as well. There is help and hope out there, I promise you. Life does get better. You can stay away from gambling. As they say, secret police, we've all been there. But we can fight this together, one day at a time. You can own your recovery. I know I talk about responsibility a lot. We have to be responsible for our own actions. As you say, JW, yeah, credit score. <laughs> I ruined mine to bits, but that does improve over time as well. I had CCJs coming out of my ears and everything. I had about half a dozen CCJs. But you get there. I've got no CCJs now. I've just got a couple of debts left. Uh, <laughs> JW, I feel this is sorry, they left it going to tell me all my friends are meant. That's a perfect example of opening up, Beth. It's amazing that you've done that. And be proud that you have as well. Being honest. And it makes you an honest, better person for me, I believe. Uh, credit cards, yeah. I did four credit cards and did them four times over. So every time I cleared them with a loan, I banked on them again and stuff and all that. Lot. I do think credit card betting will probably be on its way out in the next few years. Definitely. Uh, for me, I think... Gambling on like borrowed money on credit is the wrong thing to do, per se. Um, I get what one or two of the industry say. Say people who have like once a bet, once a year bet on the national and stuff and all that. Lot. I get that if you know what I mean. But for me, I think it might go. And you can't gamble on the credit card. I believe in the bookmakers anyway. Uh, one day at a time. Word. Tomorrow it'll be two days. Exactly. Yeah. Look forward, not back. The best times are in front of you. Exactly, Marky Mark. Exactly, mate. Steve, yeah. I know it's personal question, mate. But how much date did you ask that you were saying? I did 60 grand in uh, two years, mate. And I've managed to pay back about 55 grand of it now. Um, it was all borrowed money as well. So I had 45 grand in loans and 15 grand on credit cards. Uh, I am wide open, so it's not a personal question at all, JW. Exactly, Yali. Exactly. Well, oh, cheese gambling. We know it's it's not easy, but it's possible. Exactly, Mark. And it's not easy. I appreciate it's not because I lived through those first six, twelve months where I wanted to gamble really bad, but I had the layers of protection in place. Um, about fifteen, twenty. I can't really allow me to wrap up. 
Oh wow, centipede. Oh, good stuff, David. Uh, I'm glad you got through it all, so all good. Hi, Brian, nice to see you on here, mate. Uh, good to see you doing well, mate. Seem to be out quite a lot, buddy, so that's good. Hope you're keeping your time up and stuff, mate. Uh, that's brilliant, Beth, brilliant. Oh, sorry. Yeah, as you say, Centipede, you've got to forget about it, end of the day. Move forward, and every day you stay away from gambling, your debt only goes one way, and that's down. It is, Darren, and this is how, I mean, I'm for over three years down the line and I, I, I've probably been doing the live vlogs for about, what, nearly 18 months now and I think it was the best decision to go. Obviously, I used to love doing the pre-records and stuff and all that a lot, but to do it live, to interact and talk to, with others and get the chance to meet a few of you as well. As Steve says, write the money off as you never get it back. Exactly. But you get your time back, you get your life back, you get your family back. And I think that's the most important thing. I'm glad you got over the wobble, mate. Exactly, Centipede. And obviously, without paying the debt back, pay it back in the most comfortable way possible. Don't, like, rush it back and everything like that. As you say, Beth, yeah, it is a bit like a mini GA meet. Um, obviously, I don't talk about the steps, mate. Yeah, I'd love to do a joint live stream. Hopefully, I might be doing one. In the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, I've had a couple of bits of interest, and uh, hopefully, once the one, one individual who I know is going to get back to me, it'll be absolutely great to do one with him. So, all in all, I'll keep everyone updated on that. Uh, Mark, yes, uh, as Mark says, step changer are a great way to pay debts back as well because they act as a middleman, and more often than not, they help stop the interest as well being paid and stuff like, like what you owe. So, that's quite a good thing as well. <laughs> Great stuff. Make it your rich Sunday ritual instead of having a bet and stuff and like that. Like, ritual used to probably have a bet. Now your ritual is to come and have a bit of a meet with me. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I'd always overpay things back and then leave me short again and end up going. Yeah, just don't target yourself. Don't pressure yourself, centipede. Just take your time. Uh, hi, Michael. Chat's broke. I can hear you, mate. I can see you. Uh, uh how's the morning going mate it's going great mate uh i've had a, i've had a week off but i'm going back in tomorrow again and uh just get i'm i'm in the ballot for the london marathon if i can get in that i'll be great if not i'm going to try and get a charity place uh great stuff you're doing the paris one mate and as you say it's great for your mental health it helps me switch off it's a bit of my, my mindfulness so to speak so uh, good luck with that mate on the paris one that'll be fantastic Thank you, JW, no problem, mate. You can message me anytime privately on Twitter as well, at barrymad 79 uh, Yeah, centipede. I've heard that joke enough times, mate. That's quite good. <laughs> good stuff. I'm going to go on till about 45 minutes, up to 45 minutes, because I'm quite mindful of, I know there's a Skype uh, gambling addiction thing, and I think it's Jeffrey Wass Wasserman from uh, America. He does like a live Sky chat, Skype chat. For an hour it's a bit like similar to this really but with more discussion points as well but to pay in my sport paddle okay yeah nice to see so many people on the chat it's fantastic uh i am on instagram but it's more like family photos and stuff jw if you know what i mean feel free to drop me a message on there i can talk through there as well if you want to privately i'm more than happy to do that uh but i, I don't really tend to post anything gambling wise on uh, Instagram whatsoever. <laughs> Still young at 37. Oh mate, I'm 40 in November. 40 in November mate, so I'm buzzing to get that. I was talking about it last night with the wife, what I wanted to do and stuff. Uh, Friday, on the fr on the day of my birthday, we're going to have a bit of a nice family one between five of us. On the Saturday, it is Forest V Derby, big local derby. So it kind of fell quite nicely, so I might end up going to that. Then I'm out in Derby City Centre on the fr Saturday night with my mates, then a big family do on the Sunday. So it's going to be a weekend of celebrations when I get hit 14 November. So, <laughs> you're 14 December, mate. Oh, mate, it's good stuff like Scorpio, like me, just turned 40. Good stuff. 8th of November, mine is Mark, 8th. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. It does... Uh, 
life, life begins at 40, mate. I'm not bothered, mate. It don't bother me the age thing at all. So look at me. I, I, I still wear skinnies. Still wear skinnies. I'm terrible, mate. I'm, I'm terrible. Uh, so vain. It's unbelievable. <laughs> age is just a number, David. Age is just a number. I am just a kid. I like to think I'm just a kid, so to speak. Yeah. But yeah. We seem to be quite happy. We're in good spirits. It's no stop as well, and uh, I appreciate you've come on and stuff. Because for me, selfishly, it helps me realise where I was with my addiction and stuff and all that. Like, I'm looking out of the window. No, I think people know what I'm doing around here and stuff because I go walking outside sometimes as well. <laughs> I am terrible with the socks. I mean, yesterday I went out in my nice uh, new Paul Smith shirt. Uh, I've got a, I've got a craving for like designer shirts and stuff. If you know what I mean, I've got to wear a lot of All Saints. It kind of come full circle my fashion kind of thing, dude. Because when I was a younger, I used to think of Dolce and Gabbana, Versace, oh mate, YSL and all that. Like I used to buy all them shirts when I was younger and things and jeans. And then throughout my the gambling years, I couldn't give a monkey's what I dressed in and everything and all that lot and uh, now I'm hoovering up like on eBay like All Saints gear, uh, Pretty Green, uh, Paul Smith, anything that's designer gear now and I love my designer gear. You know All Saints is like a shop so it's like got nice, it's like a school, like a ram school as a logo and stuff I and mean, they're quite nice clothes but I do remember All Saints the group coming out once Centipede yeah, I've got a football on me. It's one of the lads' footballs, if you know what I mean. So, they've got about 100 footballs around here. Most of them popped, so to speak. They've had a nice weekend as well. Joel and Lucy uh, went to my mum and dad's on the seaside. Uh, Liam had a sleep, went to a sleepover for a birthday, if you know what I mean. So, they've had a good, busy weekend. Since, okay, Beth, since you kind of up for Gemstone Collection, got a right collection. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. Uh, like I say, we we tend to do something else, don't we? You know what? And uh, try and take a mind off things, so to speak, and try and chill out and try and crack on, if you know what I mean. But yeah, we do we do quite well, if you know what I mean. Right, I am gonna shoot off because it's getting a bit dark out here. It looks like it's about to rain soon. So thank everyone for attending this meeting, if you know what I mean. As you say, centipede anything to replace your time with it has got to be a positive exactly so thank you very much for everyone joining in i really appreciate it i will be back live next sunday at the usual time i will probably explain through august i might have a couple of sundays off because i'm away on holiday but i'll give you the dates and stuff then i'll write it down on the community bit on my youtube channel as well but thank you everyone for joining in i really appreciate it my name's andy and i'm compulsive gambler last bet 14th of april 2007